Hey everybody, back again at you with another knife, and today we're looking at my Spyderco Yojimbo. This is a very, very cool Spyderco knife. It's pretty much a one of a kind. I mean, of course Spyderco, they always make these very odd one of a kind designs. And this one is the C85 Yojimbo designed by Michael Yannick Yannick, I believe he's a martial arts instructor and self-defense instructor and obviously a knife designer and this is actually the second collaboration that Spyderco um, did with uh, Michael the first was the uh, fixed blade Ronin which is basically the same knife as this, but it's a fixed blade. Um, the handle is a little different, obviously. And there was a lot of uh, excitement about that knife. And, and people wanted a uh, folding version of that blade. So, uh, got together with Spyderco, and this is what they came up with. Um, this particular knife is blade steel is S30V they call this a modified Warncliffe and I mean that is a hell of a blade shape it's like a, almost like a straight razor it's, this is made for a, this is a purpose built self defense knife and I mean you can use it for EDC it actually is a very good EDC knife because that blade shape is just perfect for Slicing open boxes, cutting tape, I mean, really, really good point for that. Um, but it's a purpose-built self-defense knife. It's got, uh, f the, cl the overall length is about 7 and 13 16 inches. Closed, it's 5 inches exactly, with a blade length of 2 and 7 8 inches. And it's made, it's got blue G10 handles. This also came in black G10. And I believe it was plain edge only. So, and it's G10 with uh, nested steel liners. It's a really, it's a, it's a light knife. It's kind of top heavy, blade heavy, but it's a light knife nonetheless. I'm not sure how much it weighs. But... It's got that famous Spyderco compression lock. It's very heavy duty lock. It's actually I mean it's one of the, the best locks out there. Really tight tolerance. What you do is you just press over. It's pretty much a liner lock, but it's up top. Just press that over. Close it. Comes up. And it's S30V, like I said, made in Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth, I love that. Um, it's a full flat ground blade, well, it is not a full flat ground, but it's flat ground blade. And there's a lot of unique features on this knife, it's, uh, that you'll see the handle shape is quite odd, there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, is it fits so nice in the hand. I mean, it fits like a glove. It's like an extension of your hand, pretty much. And also, the way that is, it can be used as an impact device. That's what that's also, it's what that's made for. It can be used as an impact device. So they, they came out with a, everything on this knife. It does have a lanyard hole. The pocket clip is reversible, but it is tip up only. But it can be used for right or left carry. It's got jimping on the blade. Of course, Spartaco is known for their jimping. Very, very aggressive jimping.
This knife was made from 2004 till 2005 or 6. Not sure. This particular model is from 2005. And the, the way you can tell the age of a Spyderco knife is you'll see those uh, two letters right there. The first letter is the uh, month. The second letter is the year. So this is B E A B. It was made in February of 2005. A B C D E. E is five, so 2005. So that's that's how you can tell the age of a Spartaco knife. First letter is the month. Second letter is the year. <clears throat> I got this knife in a trade a while back on blade forms and I I'll tell you what if you're if you're looking for if you're short on cash or you just want to trade a knife blade forms is an exceptional place it's great people very nice people they have a great feedback section so you can feel safe about who you trade with and I've gotten a lot a lot of great knives off that site bought and traded so and it's free so but if you want to sell a knife, you have to pay for a membership. It's only $25 a year. But Blade Farms is a great, great site, everybody. You should check it out. But I'll just give you guys a look at this. Very slim profile. See, the, you can see those liners are nested. Cut down on weight. Yojimbo. Yojimbo means bodyguard in Japanese, so it just adds to the uh, self-defense kind of profile of this knife. Very large spider co hole. And you can easily adjust this with a Torx. So, it's very easily adjusted. Pocket clip is nice. Not, it's not too sturdy, it's not too flimsy, it's a very nice pocket clip. Holds great in the hands. Now these knives can be had still in the secondary market. I mean, they go from anywhere from $100 to $250. So, I mean, they, they can be had still. It's a very, very great knife. Very great EDC knife. I mean, I just love it. Great EDC knife. Obviously a great defense knife, too. And that's about it, everybody. Let's give you guys a look at it. It's got nice, aggressive G10. I mean, Spyderco is just, they're spot on with everything they, they make. G10, it just it feels really great in the hands. It's got nice grind lines. Very, very, very sharp tip. I mean, look at that tip. That could do some damage. Also, cut open some boxes. <laughs> I mean, this is just a great overall knife. There you go, that's my Spyderco Yojimbo, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. A lot more to come. Thank you very much.